Welcome to today's video. We are going to explore the fascinating technique of immunocytochemistry, which is a powerful method for visualizing specific proteins within the cells. Let's get started. This allows us to visualize the specific locations of these proteins, providing valuable insights into the cellular function. Why use immunocytochemistry? First, it allows us to see where proteins are located within the cells using a microscope to map out cellular architecture. Secondly, we can track changes in protein levels under different conditions, like watching a graph fluctuate to reveal critical insights. Lastly, it helps us to identify cellular structure changes much like observing a neuron to understand diseases and treatments. Let's break down the basic steps of immunocytochemistry. It starts with fixation to preserve the cells, then permeabilization to allow antibodies to enter. After that, we block non-specific sites, apply primary and secondary antibodies, and finally visualize the results. First, we perform fixation. Here we use chemicals like paraformaldehyde or methanol to freeze the cells and preserve their structure. Think of it as setting a snapshot of the cell's architecture so that everything remains in place for accurate analysis. Next up is permeabilization. We use detergents like Triton X or saponin to create small pores in the cell membrane. This step is like opening a door to let the antibodies inside the cell where they can reach and bind to the proteins of interest. Now moving on to blocking. To avoid non-specific binding, we apply a blocking solution containing BSA or normal serum. This step covers any areas that could potentially attract antibodies, ensuring that antibodies bind specifically to the target proteins without interference. Antibody staining is where the magic happens. First, we introduce primary antibodies that specifically bind to our target proteins. Then, we add secondary antibodies that bind to the primary ones. These secondary antibodies are often tagged with fluorescent dyes or enzymes, making them detectable under a microscope. Finally, we visualize the results using a fluorescence microscope or confocal microscope. The fluorescent dyes on the secondary antibodies light up, revealing the precise locations of the target proteins within the cell. It's like turning on spotlight to highlight the details we are interested in. This is how it looks under the fluorescence or confocal microscope. And that's a wrap on our introduction to immunocytochemistry.